So hi, this is Roscoe. I'm on the phone. It's ringing right now. I'm trying to reach uh, the agent at Kevin Bacon so that I can, uh, you know, find out if he can be in a movie that I'm working on. Hello? Yeah, hi. My name, this is uh, Roscoe Sleen, the screenwriter. I do a lot of things, but I'm a screenwriter in Texas, and I've got this script, and I want to know, do you, are, are you the person that represents Kevin Bacon? D do you know the person who represents Kevin Bacon? Do you know Kevin Bacon? D have you heard of Kevin Bacon? Do you like bacon? Good. Okay, great. Yeah, I like bacon too. Bacon's great. Super. Um, yeah, we should have some bacon together sometime. You know, let's do a bacon lunch. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So the thing is, I wrote this script and, uh, you know, I wrote it for a character, the central character. It's a great character. It's an action, comedy, drama, musical, horror it's amazing. Anyway, he'll love it. Kevin Bacon will love it. See? And, uh, but the deal is the character has to have very prominent nostrils. That's, that's why I thought of Kevin Bacon in the first place. I thought, Hey, this is, this is made for Kevin. You know, this is going to be a breakout role for him. Another one. He's had breakout roles before, you know, I mean, I mean that in a good way. I don't mean breakout like he got acne from a role. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So the deal is here that I need him. I'd love to have Kevin Bacon. He's a great actor, but I, he needs to have extremely prominent nostrils. And, and I, I, I thought that I thought that's why Kevin was the best choice initially, and then, uh, well, the thing is, I saw a picture of him, you know, just just a normal picture of him, just standing on the street, and he said his nostrils are actually pretty normal nostrils, you know. I don't know how he got that reputation of the giant prominent nostrils there. So, but uh, you know, so it's it's important that uh, we. Uh, I'm I'm having somebody. Here's the thing. I'm having somebody work on. Uh, a prosthetic nose with very prominent nostrils. And do you think he would go for that? Oh, that's right. You don't know him. But, but you said you, you said you like bacon. You know, could you, since you like bacon, could you, could you see if you could get a hold of the person that, that represent, hello? Hello? Uh, all right. I'm going to try somebody else.